Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenncarcollection.com. And if you're seeing this video, I'm actually taking the real estate test. So sorry I don't have a car review for you today. I am uh, taking the real estate test. So what I'll do in the next video, I'll bring this camera with me to the real estate test and I'll film myself going there outside the test. And then when I come out of the facility, we'll see uh, how I do. In New Jersey, it's a four hour test. I believe 110 questions, I could be wrong. Uh, and you have to get at least a 70 to pass. Now they just give you pass or fail. So unfortunately, uh, they don't do that. Now I took the real estate school. Uh, I had to go back for some continuing education and uh, I'll make another video about, uh, well, I guess let's talk about it now. So in New Jersey, you need, uh, where's my real estate book? Hold on. <laughs> we don't rehearse. If I rehearsed videos, I'd be dangerous. So uh, I'll give you New Jersey. I'll tell you about, uh, if you ever want to get a real estate license, this is good information to know. Uh, so in New Jersey, and every state's different, but they're, I think they're all pretty similar. In New Jersey, if you were never had a real estate license before, so my situation is a little different, you need uh, 75 hours of classroom. So what you could do is you can, it's probably offered at one of your local community colleges. You can take it for a whole semester, or you can go to uh, community schools have it or specific real estate schools. So because I'm unemployed and I want to start a job as soon as possible, I took like a crash two week course that was like eight hours a day for 10 days and that's your 75 hours. Uh, but you could take it over three months, whatever you want. If you have a full-time job right now, you thought about getting into real estate, there's even some places just have Saturday courses. You probably go all day Saturday for, who knows, 10 weeks or something like that. Uh, and then before you can actually take the state exam, you actually have to pass a school exam. So I did a crash course for two weeks, like I said, about eight hours a day. And uh, if I had it, if I didn't want to work so badly, uh, I probably wouldn't have done that because it's a lot of information. So when I came home at night, I probably had three or four hours worth of homework because I had to know everything perfect for the next day because I was going to get another eight hours of information. So I would probably say try to spread it out more so you have more time to study, but you have to pass a state test first. I'm sorry, uh, a school test first. And I believe I was told you at the school test you had to get a 77 because when you pay, go to the state test, it's going to be harder. It's like four hours instead of two hours. Uh, it may be the same amount of questions, but the questions are going to be more complicated. Uh, on the school test, I actually got 100. <laughs> now, I have an advantage because I've been in real estate. Now, most of this real estate book, though, it's 632 pages or whatever it is, is geared towards residential. So the commercial leasing that I did was like literally one chapter. And there's, you know, 30 something chapters about residential and getting a, uh, a listing and ethics and all that other stuff. So if you ever thought about uh, real estate, it could be uh, a good career. Again, they're commission jobs, 99% of them. Uh, I think if I was doing residential, I would start under a mentor, you know, somebody who's very successful in real estate, who has more business than they can handle. And then you kind of work from them and learn the business. And obviously you'll get paid for the tasks that they uh, have you to do. It'll be commissions, but if this person uh, has a lot of sales, you know, obviously the commissions will be good. And that's kind of what I'm doing in commercial real estate. If I wind up taking that commission job, I'm working for two guys that have 30 years experience and uh, have a lot of deals. And as I build my own business, I can probably, uh, you know, do stuff for them. And that would almost be like getting a salary if they cut me in on some deals and have me do the work. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Now, my situation for real estate school is because I've had my license and my continuing education ex uh, credits expired. New Jersey was one of the last uh, states to have continuing education. And that didn't start here to like 2013. And you only had a certain amount of time to take it. And my old job didn't require it. So if I still had my old job, I wouldn't have to do it. I would have to only take those credits when I wanted to take a commission job. And I believe for the salary job I'm looking at, I wouldn't need it, but I can't take a chance of whether I would get that job or choose that job. So I just want to get the continuing education done. So the way New Jersey works is you need 75 hours of class because I already have a real estate license, but it was just in referral stage, what's called a referral license. I don't know if that's the exact term for it, where it's essentially non-active, but you just pay the fees and, and keep the license there. I only have to take 30 hours, but the problem is if you missed your edu continuing education, which is 12 credits every two years, which I missed, and that's why I have to take 30 hours instead of 12. The problem is once you have to take the 30 hours, you have to take the test again. So I only needed a 30 hour course, which doesn't exist. So all the courses are 75 hours. And even talking with the instructor, there's no way I'm going to pass a four hour state exam 
if I only had 30 hours of classroom instead of 75. So I paid the 500 bucks, I took the whole 75. Uh, some community schools and other places will offer that school at a discount. Uh, what I would say is don't be afraid to spend a little more money on the course. I think you get better instruction. So I took this way back when, when I got my license originally. I think it was, it was cheaper because it was way back when. But uh, there are courses that are maybe you can get for $300 or $400, but the instructor you're going to get isn't going to be as good. So you really have want to pass this test, and uh, I would get the better instruction. You're investing in yourself for that extra 100 bucks. So... So that's where I am. If you're seeing this video, I am taking the test. So hopefully everything uh, works out. And in the next vlog, we'll still be doing car reviews. But in the next vlog, I'll show you the results of that test or tell you the results of that test. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. The way you can help me out the most is obviously subscribe and then watch my videos all the way through. We have 400 uh, videos on the channel now. And... What you could do also is uh, make a comment on every single video. So watch time is important and comments in every video. And if it's just to say hi, leave a comment. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.